to our benefactresses, Madame Karina Marilyn R. Fedelises, Madame Marilyn A. Rosa. To our school officers in charge, Mr. Richard Galicia and Mr. Aresto Romeo. To our beloved year level academic coordinators, members of the faculty and staff, beloved parents and families, and fellow graduates. A blissful day to all. I stand here before you as the General Academic Strand top student. Today, we celebrate our success after all these years of hardship, struggle, and perseverance. We reminisce the challenges that stood before us, and we savor the victories that came upon our hands. Who would have thought that I would be standing here on stage giving this speech? Peculiar, I know. Weird for an honor student to not have been fully academically inclined since preschool. I used to be a student who never really bothered trying academically, and that was due to my inferiority complex. I was insecure, shy, and felt incompetent. There were people who belittled my capabilities and potentials, which made me lose all hope of trying to aim for anything related to academics. The first year of senior high, I became an overall achiever. I finally excelled academically. This made me realize that I am capable of so much more and that there is more to me than what others anticipate. Thanks to that, I gained confidence and I was motivated to aim for more. And well, here I am. Here we are. Like what William Cobbett said, you never really know what you can do until you try. I would not be standing here on stage giving this speech if I did not actually try, right? We all have at some point stepped out of our comfort zone. For we would not be here if we were not able to develop ourselves in all formative aspects. Each of us graduates has developed distinct talents and expertise. May it be in music and the arts, technology, literature, and the sciences. I see many of you as natural leaders. We all have immense potentials, capable of dreaming ambitious goals. Just like our parents and teachers, someday we will become the future's guiding influence to the Filipino youth. We have much to be thankful for here at the Second Philippine International School. We have received exceptional knowledge and learnings, thanks to our fine administration and teacher team. We are prepared to move on and to take on whatever challenges that come our way. Soon, we will all find ourselves in a society most of us are estranged from. In a few months, we will find ourselves mingling with new friends, new classmates in college, and this time, university professors. My co-graduates, we are all feeling the same emotion right now. Fear and excitement of what might happen in the next phase of our lives. We should bear in mind that fear limits you and your vision. Don't let frustration and disappointments suppress our own minds and impact our potentials. At this juncture, I would like to express my deepest gratitude to Mr. Richard Galicia and Mr. Arestio Gremio for believing in and helping me find my passion for public speaking, as well as helping me improve my oral, oral communication and language skills. To Mr. Alejandro Lirio and Mr. Ronel Peralta for helping me gain the confidence to perform excellently in any performance or dance number. To Ms. Rusel Cuyo and Ms. Vivian Valle for continuously advising and inspiring me to be the better version of myself. To Mrs. Jenny Hosanna, Thank you for making me somehow build an affection for numbers, an endearment I never thought I'd attain since I respect them. And to Mr. Felix Fedge, thank you for simply being the best marketing UCSB economics and social science teacher. To all my teachers from preschool to present, thank you so much, you won't be forgotten. To my friends and fellow graduates, let us be thankful for having one another the friendships that we have made here will last a lifetime. I hope we will continue to be there for each other and to support each other in future endeavors. And I'm really thankful 
that I have friends like all of you. To my sister Haifa, thank you for being there for me when no one was, and for being a great company and listener during those really bad mental breakdowns. Without you, I'd be a mess. To all our parents, thank you for supporting us through thick and thin. Without your love and support, none of us could be here. Mom and Dad, you have instilled in me good values. I would not be who I am today if it weren't for the both of you. Thank you for always believing in me and for working your hardest for my happiness, well-being, and for my future. I'm sorry if I have disappointed you at one point, but I know being up here could somehow make up for that. I love the both of you so much. And lastly, to God Almighty, Alhamdulillah, thank you for I have made it this far, all thanks to your guidance. Fellow graduates, I encourage each and every one of you to pursue your dream and do it with passion. Good luck, fellow graduates, as you cross the line between the safety of college and the brutal reality that is life. When you leave here today, celebrate what you have accomplished, but look forward on how you too can be the inspiration for others. And remember, you never really know what your capabilities are until you try. So graduates, always try and never give up. Good luck with our next endeavors. Congratulations and may God bless us all.